hi guys welcome to our channel in this video i'm going to give you the summary of chapter 4 animal form written by george orwell guys i have been giving you the summaries of animal form and i gave you the chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 and if you haven't watched those videos you can go back to my channel and you can watch those videos also and if you are watching for the first time so kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get the updates whenever I upload a video. Guys, let's start. So in the beginning of this chapter, we, we can see the news reaches of the country, off of the country. So here, this is uh, off of the country. So, off of the country means uh, um, the news is about the rebellion. So, in the previous chapter, second chapter and third chapter, we looked at the rebellion that happened in animal form and how the animals occupied the entire governance and Mr. Jones was pushed out and here the news that that happened in animal form is reaching to other animal farms also there are neighboring farms across england there are several hundreds and thousands of animal farms are there and the news is reaching how the news is reaching so mr jones actually here uh, mr jones was pushed out and a snowball is sending some pigeons to go and talk about the rebellion that happened in animal form. So that's how the news is reaching. And the next thing you see, Mr. Jones is spending his time in the tap room, tap room uh, at Red Line Bar in Willington. So here we can see he has nothing to do. Mr. Jones has nothing to do. So. Uh, he lost his uh, animal form and lost his livelihood. He has nothing to do and is a drunkard actually. He is sitting over there. Where is he sitting there? He is sitting in the tap room. Tap room is where a lot of uh, wine is available. They can just uh, uh, turn the tap and get the uh, liquor or wine etc and he is sitting there he is what he is doing he has nothing to do only drinking and complaining about the animals and he thinks animals are good for nothing and they pushed him out so he is bearing that pain so he is talking about all that nonsense and he is spending his time idly without doing anything what he does is he drinks over there and next thing is um, there are neighbors two neighbors Pilkington and and Frederick and these are the neighbors and these are these people also first they get terrified terrified when they get to know about this rebellion first uh, they show sympathy towards uh, Mr. Jones but later they try to think how to um, use this misfortune of Mr. Jones for their benefit and they want they also desire to occupy animalism animal form and it shows their hypocrisy and uh, outwardly they uh, they support Mr. Jones and inwardly they have a strong desire to occupy this animal form and here Mr. Pilkington and Frederick are actually enemies. They don't like each other, but they work together to spread rumors. What they what they think when they when they are terrified that the same rebellion will take place in their own form, they uh, go to other farms and talk to their owners and spread that they can't do anything. But only one thing is we have to go there and control the animals. They forget the enemy, enmity, they forget their rivalry and Pilkington and Frederick have a common goal to attack on the animals. 
So animals in the other farms learn beats of England by taught uh, uh, taught by the folks of pigeons. Snowball sent some uh, pigeons. These pigeons will go and spread uh, beats of England. They talk about uh, a rebellion that happened, and rebellion is reported in other farms also due to this. Uh, pigeons hard work they fly to other farms and spread about spread about this rebellion the same rebellion is um, uh, started in other farms also some somehow their owners are able to control it and later and as we discussed in the beginning of this video Frederick and uh, Pilkington and Mr. Jones come together they talk to other neighbors and they take uh, uh, men together they come together and they they try to attack uh, animal farm so this is called uh, battle of cowshed you remember this is very important battle of cowshed so how it happens a fearing rebellion fearing rebellion uh, neighboring farm owners attack the animal farm so neighboring owners are pilkington and Frederick along with their men snowball prepares when they get to know this attack how do you know pigeons will pigeons uh, observe it they bring that news to snowball and no snowball prepares a line of attack a um, wonderful line of attack to uh, fight back these men men suffer a quick, quick defeat and escape from the animal farm because they are not able to tolerate uh, how this snowball and his company attack him and here we can see the boxer fights courageously his courageous can is, is a very big it's a very big hearse and he courageously fights and here boxer is sad about uh, after after the after this um, battle of Cowshed because a boy dies under his feet and snowballs and he is very uh, sad box is very sad snowball says that uh, the only good human being is a dead one so no hum human beings are good so you don't need to worry about it and but boxer says I didn't do it intentionally and other thing we can see that Molly avoids a battle by hiding somewhere in a secret place Molly avoids this battle and um, Molly did not uh, Molly does not uh, participate in this battle snowball and boxer receives medals for their courageous attack and defense in the battle and the October 12th becomes the annual day of the battle of cowshed Okay guys, this is all about uh, chapter 4. Um, I gave you a brief summary. If you like this summary, please like it, share it and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all. Thank you for your time.